Are you ready for this? Uh-huh. Nicole and I actually met at a craft fair. We started dating in 2010, so we would vend craft fairs and punk rock flea markets and conventions, and we've been doing that ever since. We've been together total for 12 years, but we started South Street Art Mart kind of by accident. We knew somebody who worked for the South Street Head House District. They came to us and they said, if we gave you an empty storefront for the holiday season, could you reach out to people you know and fill it? We reached out to friends in our vending community and we were like, hey, I know it's the holidays, which is your busy time, but can you give us some stuff, please? And just trust that we'll do our best to move it for you, and they did and we got a great reception from customers, from the people that were selling their stuff with us, but mostly from the neighborhood, we kept getting this same feedback. This feels like what South Street used to be, and that is the biggest compliment to us. We were kids from New Jersey who grew up coming to South Street, so to have somebody say that about something we created is just the ultimate. Hey! We inherently wanted to keep that tradition of independent stores and artists and small, quirky, kitschy spaces alive. And that's what we're trying to do here with the Art Mart is have an outlet for local artists to display their work, but also to keep that independent DIY vibe going strong here on the street. So this store, South Street Art Mart, is considered a consignment shop. So what that basically means is that an artist gives us their product. We are the ones basically running the retail aspect of it and try and make it as mutually beneficial as possible. First and foremost, when we started the pop-up shop and especially when we transitioned to a full-time permanent brick and mortar store, the artists absolutely have to come first. At last count, we have over 150 artists in the store. We have stickers, we have t-shirts, we have jewelry, we have tote bags, we have light switch plates, we have pins, we have keychains, <laughs> pretty much any type of item that an artist makes that we think would make sense in a retail setting. And I think that that's the difference between the art mart and art galleries, is that we're still a retail store. The items in the store have to be accessible enough for folks off the street to want to come in and purchase, and the cool thing is that people can display their artwork on something like a sticker so people can come away with artwork and feel like they got something that's a piece of that artist. Being in this shop has been so inspiring and they're very straightforward with what they want, what they think is gonna work and sell. I was making original pieces and I wasn't thinking about prints, I wasn't thinking about stickers, I wasn't thinking about buttons. So doing all that really makes it more accessible, which makes sense, and then people like that button, eventually they might buy the original that it was based off of. It's been really motivating and exciting. We want to be that place that folks from out of town come and discover, and they're like, wow, this is Philly. It needs to be independent, it needs to be punk, it needs to be DIY, it needs to be strange. I think keeping South Street weird is always the goal. Weirdness is where the fun stuff is. Hi, I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.